Well, it began just a regular day. I was seven years old, um, and my mom needed to walk the dogs. That day, without warning, Anne Marie Ward's childhood changed forever. So she looked back when we were down the street a few blocks, and I just passed out. I was just blue-faced on the street. Her mom watched as her then seven-year-old daughter was taken away in a helicopter. At the hospital, her parents got the news no mom or dad ever wants to hear. They thought I was going to, to pass away that evening. They said that this child, from what she's endured, will have complications forever. She will never be a normal kid. Annie, as her family calls her, was only in second grade. She was diagnosed with a heart disease that threatened to take her life. Hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is a really big word for enlargement of the heart muscle. So your muscle is supposed to be about the size of your fist. Mine at the time was probably about this thick. And as I grew older and older, my heart muscle thickened more and more. After three weeks in the hospital, she got to go home. But life was drastically different. It's hard to explain to a seven-year-old, no, you can't go out and play with your friends because you have this enlarged heart. It was tough because my sister was super active. She was the volleyball star, the basketball star. I actually tried to pursue dance one time when I was 14 and I ended up having a heart attack on stage and it was just so upsetting knowing that my heart condition was controlling my life. Going off to college was a huge milestone, but Anne Marie's freshman year was almost her last year of life. By the time I was 18, my heart became so unhealthy that I started fainting and having heart attacks just trying to walk to class. And I really did wonder why life was worth living. What was the point of this if I can't effectively do anything? Her doctors told her it was a miracle that she was alive. He sat down and said, I have no idea how you were functioning. Her only hope, a new heart. Then one day while she was doing her homework, her phone rang. Her mother asked her if she was sitting down. And she said, Annie, they have a heart for you. Um, we found a heart. Annie left her dorm room in Lakeland and made the two-hour trip to Gainesville. She walked into UF Health, not sure what to expect, but ready to get a transplant. I describe it as the most peaceful moment that I have ever felt in my entire life. I just knew that I was ready for this and that my life would be changed forever. But the heart waiting for her meant another family had to say goodbye to their precious 14-year-old daughter. Uh. It happened actually on April the 19th. Um, I was at work, it was about to end my shift, and I got the call that it was gonna change everything. Tracy Perp Tanny's youngest daughter, Raven, had been in a terrible accident. The four-wheeler she was riding crashed. She was injured so badly she had to be airlifted to UF Health Gainesville. 48 hours later, her daughter was declared brain dead. And they said, Tracy, we, we can't do any more. I said, okay. I said, call LifeQuest. We know what we need to do. And I wanted to fight for that heart because it was a heart of gold. Raven donated four organs. Her mother sent letters to all of the recipients and for months wondered if she would ever hear back. Christmas was approaching. And I said, if I could have one wish, it would be to hear from somebody. You know, and if I had to pick one, I would love for it to be her heart recipient because it's just what the heart symbolizes. The day before Mother's Day, 2013, Tracy's wish came true. She got to meet Anne Marie, in whom part of her daughter now lives. My world changed in a matter of seconds, and theirs was something that they faced every day. And to see her flourish and to be able to tell that story is just, it's phenomenal. I think I got a second chance because I think I'm going to make a difference in this life. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna meet people and I'm really going to change change something or someone, whether it's a million lives or just one. I think Raven saved me so I could impact someone else immensely.